The centerpiece of Jacksonville's Naval Museum is opening to the public next week. The USS Orlick, seen here through Sky 4 drone, is officially welcoming guests aboard starting next Wednesday. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar explains the significance of the moment and spoke with a relative of the officer the ship is named after. This is Chester Orlick. Stepping on a floating piece of history, 77 years to be exact, this site is special for Bob Orlick. That, that's a neat hunk of steel, but without the men who served on her, that's all she would be. Bob is the nephew of Lieutenant Joseph Orlick, who the ship is named after. Lieutenant Orlick was the commanding officer of USS Nauset, which sank after an attack in the Gulf of Salerno in 1943. Lieutenant Orlick was reported missing in action and presumed dead the following year. This is an example of a miracle. Uh, this ship was going to be scrapped and and uh, she was saved by people of Jacksonville. This ship is finally opening to the public on the North Bank in Jacksonville as a museum. This moment is something Naval Museum President Daniel Bean has been working toward for 12 years. We dreamed big and here we are. People can either be given a guided tour or use one of these brochures to give themselves a tour. Some of these markings all along the ship will indicate where you can go, but these are some things you can be expecting to see. We're taking a look inside the ship. You can see the tight quarters here. Take a look to your right. This is an area where some of the sailors were able to get haircuts. Some of the other places you'd be able to see on this ship are the areas where they ate, where they slept, and just what life was like aboard USS Orlick. Visitors can come on board the USS Orlick from Wednesdays through Sundays. The hours are on our website at news4jacks.com. We're going to be constantly working on it, and so we want to make sure that uh, when folks get on, that it is safe as it can be. Remember, it is a warship. The USS Orlick docking in Jacksonville back in March is the most decorated post-World War II ship fighting in the Korean, Vietnam, and Cold War periods. She was one of the workhorses of the United States Navy men who really wanted to serve their country and wanted to preserve our freedoms. That's the reason the majority of them went. Now serving the public to get a glimpse of that history. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.